Guys, what's going on? Welcome to an Umbrella Spotlight. I've got two new releases from Umbrella Entertainment and they are doozies. First of all, this sort of uh, ultimate collector's edition of I Saw the Devil, which we're gonna unbox here in just a second. And then Mad Monster Party uh, with a ton of website exclusive bells and whistles poster a comic book now i believe the movies themselves umbrella keeps these uh these are in print from umbrella but the website exclusive collector's editions are i believe sold out for both of these now however remember to use code serial 15 to save 15 percent on your order of what's coming next so there's a lot of stuff that's coming in the next uh, few months that if you're interested you want to get your order in so you are guaranteed one of these awesome bundles but remember when the collector's editions are gone the movies aren't out of print just these big deluxe versions with all the bells and whistles so uh, let's start out with uh, i saw the devil which is a really uh i think it's a pretty popular movie right so this is limited to 500 this uh i'm assuming it's this hard box this this is this bundle right here this is everything that's included with i saw the devil uh limited to 500 i've got number 150 uh and uh let's check it out here so we've got the, the like this this is still available this is still in print everywhere or on umbrella's website uh and everywhere i'm, I'm assuming these are in stores as well, like at your JB Hi-Fi's. But remember, the bundles themselves are for, they're only on the website, the Umbrella Entertainment Shop. So we've got a book. This is a, I think about how many pages did the, did this, did the packaging say how many pages this was? Uh, 48 page, perfect bound book with director's comments. And then they've talked to, something that I think is really cool is they've talked to um, a lot of the people involved with the cast and crew interviews i actually like this um i love a booklet in any format but i like the idea of having you know uh, thoughts from the people that made the movie itself and then like storyboards artwork process it's it's really loaded and then we've got these uh, art cards which i'll slide off the world's unsexiest garter right here <laughs> All right. So, I mean, it's cool that you have options. You know, some companies don't always give you the option. They're like, here's the super deluxe limited edition. And when it's gone, it's gone. And that movie is out of print now or whatever. That's not what's really happening here. This is sort of like you pick your package, right? Pick how much, how hard in you want to go, how all in you want to go on a certain movie. And then you pick the package that's right for you. So the Blu-ray itself, by the way, both of these are region unlocked. I uh, played both of them in my region A locked player. So we got an alternate 144 minute Korean cut of the feature film, new audio commentary by Kat Ellinger, making a feature uh, featurette interviews with the cast and the crew, deleted scenes, and then the raw and rough behind the scenes of I Saw the Devil. So that's cool. There is alternate artwork. This is the artwork that I know. And we also have a double-sided poster. So very cool stuff. And if you're a fan of this movie, this has got to be the most primo presentation of it that's in print uh, anywhere. Uh, all right, so let's move on to something that's near and dear to my heart, which is Mad Monster Party. You know, with this movie, I think when it hit theaters back in 1967, it had a question mark. It's Mad Monster Party. Uh, but I think we've dropped the question mark from it. So it's just Mad Monster Party. I love this. This is an annual watch for me. Boris Karloff does a voice here. Uh, and every other voice is one guy. And it pays homage by sidestepping copyrights. It's, it pays homage to Dracula, the Wolfman, King Kong, um, who am I forgetting? Frankenstein's monster, all the classic monsters, the mummy. The, it, it, but it's through that 60s filter. I don't know. I just adore this. It's a, um, it's, and it's, it didn't come out at Halloween time either. This was a summer release. July, I want to say it was like July 27th, uh, 1967. So this is, uh, somebody asked me, 
Well, is it a new master? Yeah, it's a brand new 2023 master. And they've done color correction here because if you know this movie, you know it's always looked kind of dingy. Uh, it looks really good. This is the best I've ever seen this movie look. And, and which is interesting because the home video history of Mad Monster Party, just over the years, we get these... It's been incrementally upgraded for the past, I don't know, decade or so. This is now the best presentation on home media. Oh, could there be... Like, one day will we get a 4K release of Mad Monster Party? We can only dream. But as of right now, this is the, this is the top of the mountain. This collector's edition bundle was limited to 1,500 copies. And look, I got 1,490. 1,490. So, just squeaking by there. Uh, new master, new commentary by Rick Goldschmidt, who is the official... Well, he's the, he's the keeper of the Rankin Bass Flame. I bought a t-shirt from Rick Goldschmidt's site uh, years ago, and he sent me like an autographed card. So Rick Goldschmidt, uh, introduction, is uh, there's like a three and a half minute introduction here as well. So new new master, new uh, commentary, new introduction. It's also, you got two different versions. You can watch it in the full frame with the you know, bars on the side, or in the theatrical presentation ratio, which is the correct ratio, uh, 185. Also, uh, it's carrying over a bunch of special features from previous editions, which I've probably got a screenshot for you right here. There's a new Easter egg, guys, and I had a hard time finding it because I don't look for a lot of Easter eggs anymore, but I probably should because people are still putting them on discs. So there is an Easter egg. It's like almost a half an hour Easter egg. It's an episode of something. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is because you got to find it for yourself. That's the fun of an Easter egg, but if you can find it, it's pretty cool. So this is uh, this is a J card that comes away. I love this artwork, and that's great because we've got it on a poster that I'm going to show you in just a second. Uh, here is the other the other artwork, and it does have reversible art wrap. Or it's not reversible. The uh, it's two sided art wrap. So we've got interior artwork for the uh, for the case itself. And check out. All the stuff that comes with this collector's edition bundle. This was the website exclusive collector's edition bundle. It's sold out now, uh, but remember you can still get the movie there. But this is what you, this is why you want to pre-order things from the site if you want this stuff because you get the pins, these enamel pins, which are great. And then in this little bag of goodness, we have a a sticker sheet. If you really want to put some Mad Monster Party on your on your on your laptop or something, but I think real sticker fans. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to gatekeep the stickers. I think most people when they get stickers like this, they just leave them on the sheet. But I don't know. Do you put stickers on something? When you get a, if you get something like that, what do you do with it? We got this comic book, Mad Monster Party, the a recreation of the Dell comic. Look at this, man. This is great. And it's a. Uh, it's the whole shebang. It's the whole thing. And then last, but certainly not least, we have a two-sided poster. So here's the new artwork, which I really, I love this artwork. This is great. And the classic art to promote the film. So if you're a Rankin Bass historian, Rankin Bass fan, uh, this is good stuff. And remember, this thing has a lot of goodies on the disc. This is now, as I say, this is the definitive presentation for um, for uh, for Mad Monster Party. I'm just looking on the back, and I'm, I said like every other voice is one person. I forgot Phyllis Diller, uh, uh, Jack Davis, um, Hart. Okay, written and designed by. T you know what? No, I, hold. The, I'm going to hold this up. You can read that. It does have Phyllis Diller in it, but most of the other voices were done by one guy who was just like, he's just slipping in and out of voices. Like this sounds like, like Felix sounds like Jimmy Stewart. And, and then there is, there's a woman that does a voice as well. And I love the song, the Mad Monster Party song, which is basically Goldfinger, but just a little different. It's great. Let's talk about it. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Thanks to Umbrella Entertainment for sending this over for me to share with you. Great stuff. These collector's edition bundles are just killing it because they give us, the movie fans and the you know TV fans, they give us the choice of what we want to have in our collections. And I think that's really cool. So uh, if you head over there, remember to use that coupon code Serial15 that lets you know, saves you money and it lets them know that you came from Serial at Midnight. So I appreciate you guys. Take care. Till next time, I will catch you later.